my time with Jesus. Fatima Special, The Shepherd Children and the Apparitions of Our Lady. Hi, friends. Finished school? Come on. We're reading the memoirs of Sister Lucia. In this program, we'll see the apparitions of Our Lady to the three shepherd children, Lucia, Francisco, and Jacinta. Did Our Lady really appear to them? Yes. And weren't they scared? <laughs> no, Our Lady isn't scary. Uh, I don't know. If Our Lady or an angel appeared to me, I think I might be scared. The apparitions of the angel amazed the shepherd children, but the apparitions of Our Lady gave great peace and joy. Of course, because Our Lady is very good. Well, yes. Hey, Christine, did the three shepherd children have sheep? Yes, they were shepherds. I really love sheep. Of course, you love everything. At Christmas, it's my job to put the sheep in the nativity scene. They're so lovely. I think sheep are boring. I prefer fire-breathing dragons. Hi, kids. Hello, Father Luis. We're reading the memoirs of Sister Lucia. Very good. When she was little, she was one of the three shepherd children Our Lady appeared to in Fatima. Want to see what the first apparition was like? Well, you see, on May 13, 1917, the three shepherd children were tending their sheep in Covadeiria when they saw a flash of lightning. Look, Lucia lightning! Looks like a storm is on its way. How strange, because there isn't a cloud in the sky. We'd better go home. Okay, let's gather in the sheep. Look, a lady! But where are you from? I'm from heaven. And what do you want of me? I came to ask you to come here for six consecutive months, on the 13th day, at the same hour. I will tell you later who I am and what I want. And will I go to heaven? Yes, you'll go. And Jacinta? As well. And Francisco? Him too, but he will have to say many rosaries. Do you wish to offer yourselves to God? to endure all the suffering he may please to send you, and as an act of reparation for the sins by which he is offended, and to ask for conversion of sinners? Yes, we do. You will have to suffer a great deal, but the grace of God will be your comfort. Recite the rosary every day to obtain peace for the world and the end of the war. Hang on a minute. The Virgin Mary said something about a war. Which war? She was referring to the First World War. Was it the world at war at that time? Yes, it was a very big war and many people died. That's why Our Lady of Fatima asked them to recite the rosary so the war would end soon. Oh, I see. After this apparition, the shepherd children decided not to tell anyone what had happened. But Jacinta was unable to keep it secret. She let the cat out of the bag, right? <laughs> well, yes. She told her mother as soon as she got home. And it was a lady from heaven, and she was very beautiful and glowing. What are you talking about? Look, I don't like you making up that kind of stuff. It's true. Ask Lucia and Francisco. The news soon spread all over Aljustrel, the village where the shepherd children lived. And Lucia's mother wanted her to admit she had made it all up. This is how Sister Lucia describes it in her memoirs. Until then, I had been the apple of my mother's eye, but she didn't like lies and was very angry with me because she thought I was lying. I had a really bad time. I will not have my children lying. I've always brought you up the best I can and taught you to keep the commandments. Lying is against the commandments of God's law, so admit you have told a lie. But Mom... What's all that nonsense about seeing a lady from heaven? But it's true! I said no more lies. And so a month went by and June 13th arrived. Then the three shepherd children returned to Kovadaidia as Our Lady had asked them. 
but this time they were accompanied by a large group of people who also wanted to see the lady. Lucia's mother was still worried because she thought her daughter was lying. I was always able to get my children to tell the truth. And now, how can I let my youngest get away with something like this? If it were just a little thing, but a, a lie like this to fool so many people. It's up to you. Either you tell the truth to these people and admit that you lied, or I'll lock you up in a room where you won't see the light of day. Right. Admit you lied. I'm your big sister and I'm ordering you too. Just like mom. If you don't confess, face the consequences. This is horrible. My sisters took sides with my mother and I was surrounded by an atmosphere of scorn and contempt. I remembered the old days and I asked myself, where's all the love and affection my family used to have for me until recently? Lucia was very sad because her mother and sisters did not believe her. They thought she was a liar. Up to then, she had been the darling of the house, and now she was the most despised. Poor Lucia! Well, you see, the same thing happened to Jesus. Really? Yes. On Palm Sunday, Jesus rode triumphantly into Jerusalem, riding on a donkey. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest! The Jews hailed him as the Messiah. They said very nice things to him. A few days later, the same people insulted him. Are you not the Messiah? Now where is your power? You have lied to us! If you were the Son of God, come down from the cross! Wow, that's true. The same thing happened to poor Lucia. Well, yes, and Lucia decided to offer all that suffering to God for the conversion of sinners. Well, I just thought of something. Fire away! Mark and his friends are always calling me Holy Joe because I say grace and go to Mass on Sundays. which we are about to receive through thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 <laughs> there goes Holy Joe saying grace again. Hey, Joseph, do you want to play? Okay, but just five minutes because I have to go to Mass. <laughs> there goes St. Joseph. Hey, it doesn't matter if you skip Mass for once, man. Yes, it does matter. On Sunday, I go to Mass with my family. It's an obligation for all Catholics. Yeah, well, I just go because I have to. I'll offer these insults for them and for the souls of all sinners, just like Lucia did. That's very good, Joseph. Jesus is very pleased with you. You see, on that day, June 13th, Our Lady appeared for the second time. And everyone saw her? No, only the three shepherd children could see her. Do you suffer a lot? Do not be discouraged. I will never abandon you. My Immaculate Heart will be your refuge and the way which will lead you to God. I had a really bad time because of my family's disbelief. I often cried. When Jacinta saw me crying, she comforted me. Don't cry. These must be the sacrifices that the angel told us God would send us. Therefore, your sufferings are to convert sinners to him and atone for their sin. The shepherd children had to suffer a lot not to reveal what the Virgin had told them in the apparitions. They were even interrogated by the parish priest. Tomorrow we're going to Mass very early in the morning, and then you'll go to the house of the priest. Let him make you to admit the truth, whatever it may be, to punish you. Do what he wants with you. As long as he forces you to admit that you lied, I'll be happy. I went to the house of my cousins, Francisco and Jacinta, to tell them that the next day I would be going to the priest's house for a meeting. We're going too. The priest also sent word to my mother to take us. But my mother never tells us any of these things. Patience. If we're punished, we'll suffer for the sake of our Lord and for sinners. The next day, after Mass, as we climbed the stairs to the priest's house, my mother told me... Don't make things worse. Tell the priest that you lied, so that he can say it was a lie in Mass on Sunday and sort the whole thing out. This doesn't make sense. Everyone running to Cova de Iria to pray in front of an oak tree. The interrogation was very thorough, and at the end the priest said, I don't think it's a revelation from heaven. 
When these things occur, the Lord usually commands the souls he communicates with to tell their confessors and parish priests what has happened. This one, however, avoids it all she can. This could be a trick of the devil. We'll see. The future will tell us what to think. The devil! How scary! Yes, Lucia felt terrible and began to doubt everything. What if it was really the devil? She was scared. So when July 13th was approaching, she said she wouldn't go to Covadia. I'm not going. But the lady from heaven commanded us to go on the 13th, and tomorrow is the 13th. You have to come. No, I'm not going. Look, if the lady asks for me, tell her I haven't gone because I'm afraid she's the devil. What are you talking about? She can't be the devil because the devil is really ugly and lives underground. And that lady is very beautiful and comes from heaven. And what did she do? Did she go to cover the air in the end? Yes, she did. And what made her change her mind? I don't know. The fact is that on the 13th, Lucia was driven to go by a strange force. Moments after arriving at Cave de Aria, near the oak tree, among a large crowd of people, while praying the rosary, we saw the typical glow of light immediately followed by Our Lady over the oak tree. What do you want of me? I want you to come here on the 13th of next month. Continue to say the rosary every day in honor of Our Lady of the Rosary, to obtain the peace of the world and the end of the war, because only she can obtain it. I wanted to ask who you are, and if you'll do a miracle so that everyone will know you've appeared to us. Right. Well said. I would have asked her the same thing. The people don't believe it? Well, voila! A miracle and that settles it. <laughs> well, that happened a few months later. You must come here every month, and in October I will tell you who I am and what I want. I will then perform a miracle so that all may believe. Great. A miracle's what all those people need. Sacrifice yourself for sinners, and say this prayer often, especially while making a sacrifice. O oh Jesus, it is for the love of you, for the conversion of sinners, and in reparation for the sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Great! We can say that prayer every time we make a small sacrifice, right, Father Luis? Well, yes, it's a very beautiful prayer. Then, spreading her arms, the Virgin Mary allowed them to see hell. Wow, how scary! Wow, and what was hell like? Well, it was like a sea of fire, a horrible place where demons and souls were like black transparent coals in human form floating about in the fire, carried by the flames that issued from within themselves, along with great clouds of smoke falling everywhere amid shrieks and groans of pain and despair. The demons could be distinguished by their terrifying and repellent likeness to frightful and unknown animals, but black and transparent like burning coals. You have seen hell where the souls of poor sinners go to save future souls. God wishes to establish in the world the devotion to my Immaculate Heart. If people do what I tell you, many souls will be saved and there will be peace. The war will end, but if you do not cease offending God, in the reign of Pius XI, a worse one will begin. Hang on a moment. Another war? Which war? The Virgin Mary was referring to the Second World War, which was worse than the first. Wow. I didn't know. When you see a knight lit up by a strange and unknown light, you will know that it is the sign that God gives you that he is about to punish the world with war and with hunger, and by the persecution of the Church and the Holy Father. And did the sign appear? Yes, but keep listening. To prevent this, I shall come to ask that Russia be consecrated to my Immaculate Heart, and I shall ask that on the first Saturday of every month, communions of reparation will be made in atonement for the sins of the world. If my wishes are fulfilled, Russia will be converted, and there will be peace. If not, then Russia will spread her errors throughout the world, bringing new wars and persecution of the Church. The good will be martyred, and the Holy Father will have much to suffer. Certain nations will be annihilated. That's horrible! Yes, Eva, but keep listening and you'll see how it ends. But in the end, my Immaculate Heart will triumph. The Holy Father will consecrate Russia to me, and she will be converted, and the world will enjoy a period of peace. In Portugal, the dogma of the faith will always be preserved. Do not tell this to anybody. You can tell Francisco. Hang on a moment. Hey, wait! Stop interrupting! Hang on. What do you mean you can tell Francisco? 
You mean Francisco didn't hear what the Virgin was saying? No. Francisco saw but didn't hear. Well, what a pain. Yes, afterwards Lucia and Jacinta told him everything. When you pray the rosary, say after each mystery, O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Is there anything more you want of me? No, I do not want anything more of you today. She began to rise slowly, moving eastward and disappearing into the distance. That was amazing! Yes, but I'm really scared of Hal. So was Jacinta, and she was deeply impressed and shocked by the vision of Hal. So she decided to offer many sacrifices for sinners so that they wouldn't go to that terrible place. I'm not surprised. Who wants to go there? Father Luis, tell us about the next apparition of the Virgin. It was August 13th, right? No. Well, actually, the Virgin appeared on August 19th. But didn't she say the 13th? Yes, but on the 13th, the three shepherd children were taken to Orem prison to be interrogated by the civil authorities to force them to reveal the secret of the Virgin under pain of death. Pain of death? Yeah, that means that if they didn't reveal the secret, they would be killed. Right, Father Luis? Exactly. While in prison, the shepherd children urged the inmates to recite the rosary. And did they do it? Yes. Those who knew how to pray prayed, and the others respected the prayer. Sir, if you want to pray, then please take off your beret. Francisco said that to the prisoner? That was brave? I'd be scared to death there, in prison surrounded by thieves, murderers. I'd be sitting in a corner without talking to anyone. If they kill us, as they say, we will soon be in heaven. That's great. I don't mind at all. God help Jacinta not to be afraid. I'll say a Hail Mary for her. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Hey, you, the kid with the cap, what are you saying? I'm saying a Hail Mary so that Jacinta won't be afraid. Bah, kid stuff. Francisco was very brave because he didn't care if other people saw him praying. But I sometimes feel embarrassed to pray in public. Me too. For example, when I go into a church with a friend and I make the sign of the cross with holy water. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey, what are you doing? I'm making the sign of the cross with holy water. And what do you do that for, man? When we make the sign of the cross, we bless ourselves and we ask God to bless us and give us the grace to live our baptismal promises. Well, I don't believe in any of that stuff. I don't care what you think. It's a good thing. Sometimes I also feel embarrassed if my friends see me praying. Shall we say a Hail Mary? What for? For the patient who's in the ambulance. But you don't even know who it is. That doesn't matter. What matters is that they're in the ambulance and I have the habit of praying for whoever it is. Goodness, well, I've never done it. Okay, it's a good time to start, isn't it? I think so. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. See how good it feels? Well, yes. From now on, I'll say a Hail Mary whenever I see an ambulance. It's a very good habit, Eva. We shouldn't be embarrassed to pray in front of our friends. It's a good example for them. Father Louis, tell us about the apparition of August 19th. Well, you see, many people accompanied the three shepherd children to Cova Idea. What do you want of me? Come again to the Cova de Iri on the 13th of next month, my child, and continue to say the rosary every day. In the last month, I will perform a miracle so that all may believe. What are we to do with the money that people leave at Cova de Iria? I want you to have two litters made for the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary. I want you and Jacinta to carry one of them with the two other girls. You will both dress in white. And then I want Francisco, with the three boys helping him, to carry the other one. The boys, too, will be dressed in white. 
What is left over will help towards the construction of a chapel that is to be built here. I want to ask for the healing of some sick people. Some I will cure during the year. Why does she ask for the healing of the sick? Because many townspeople ask them favors from Our Lady. Pray, pray very much, make sacrifices for sinners. Many souls go to hell because they have no one to make sacrifices and pray for them. It's incredible that Our Lady appeared! Yes, amazing! From these appearances, the shepherd children began to make sacrifices for sinners. You'll see. A few days later, we were walking along a path with the sheep when I found a piece of rope from a cart. I picked it up and tied it round one of my arms. I soon noticed that the rope was hurting me. Listen, this hurts. We could tie it around our waist as a sacrifice to God. Okay, good idea. Good idea. Let's break the rope into three pieces. Either because of the thickness or roughness of the rope, or because we sometimes tied it very tightly, this instrument sometimes made us suffer horribly. Jacinta, what's wrong? Are you crying? It's that rope you gave me. It really hurts. We'll take it off. No, I want to offer the sacrifice to our Lord in reparation after the conversion of sinners. That's too much for me. I couldn't make that kind of sacrifice. You don't have to. Oh, no? What about the shepherd children? They were children, too. Yes, but God doesn't ask you to tie ropes to yourself. I've just thought of a good sacrifice. For example, not complaining when we don't like the clothes we have to wear. Yeah, like school uniform trousers, which are really itchy. <laughs> exactly. You can wear them without complaining. I'm telling you, those trousers are really itchy and I'm scratching myself all day. Oh, Jesus, it is for love of you, for the conversion of sinners, and in reparation for the sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. You see, that's a good sacrifice. Father Luis! Go ahead, Eva. Did Our Lady appear again the following month? Yes, it was September 13th, and a crowd of people went along with the shepherd children and asked them favors to ask of the Virgin. For the love of God, ask Our Lady to heal my crippled son. Ask her to heal mine who's blind, and mine who's deaf. Ask her to bring my husband back. Ask the Virgin to bring back my son from the war. To convert a sinner. To bring me health. I've got tuberculosis. We got to Cava de Iria and started to recite the rosary with the people, and Our Lady appeared above the oak tree. Continue to pray the rosary to bring an end to the war. In October, the Lord will come, as well as Our Lady of Sorrows and Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Saint Joseph will appear with the child Jesus and bless the world. God is pleased with your sacrifices, but he does not want you to sleep with a rope on, but only wear it during the daytime. Just as well, she told them to take off the rope to sleep. Yes, Our Lady told them that was too much. I have the petitions of May for your help, to heal some sick people, a deaf child. Yes, some I will heal. Others not. In October, I will perform a miracle so that all may believe. The miracle! The miracle! I want to see the miracle! <laughs> well, on October 13th, Our Lady appeared again. And then she performed a miracle. And did everybody believe the shepherd children? Yes, the crowd was amazed. Do you want to see it? Of course, it's quite amazing! On October 13th, we left very early. It was raining heavily, and there were crowds of people. Along the way, the people kept asking favors like the month before. There was a rumor that the authorities would set off a bomb, but the people went to Cava de Iria anyway. Gradually, the rain stopped and the sun came out. What do you want of me? I'm the Lady of the Rosary. I want a chapel built here in my honor. Continue saying the Rosary every day. The war will end, and the soldiers will return to their homes. I had many things to ask of her, to heal some sick people and convert some sinners. Some I shall grant, and others I must deny. People must amend their lives and ask pardon for their sins. They must not offend our Lord any more. He is already much too offended. Look at 
the sun! It's going to fall on us! Help! Incredible! Yes, but there's more. Then St. Joseph appeared with the child Jesus and Our Lady. Wow! Then they saw Our Lord and Our Lady of Sorrows. Our Lord appeared to bless the world in the same way as St. Joseph. When this apparition vanished, it seemed I could still see Our Lady resembling Our Lady of Mount Carmel. That's incredible. I wish I could have been there. Well, yes. I see you like miracles. They're amazing. Do you like extraordinary things? Yes, they're the most fun. Well, you see, our lives can be full of extraordinary things. I don't understand. Our life is always the same, and there's nothing extraordinary about it. Yes, if we offer God small prayers and sacrifices, these things take on great value and become extraordinary and very important. That's what we've learned in this program. Right, Father Luis? That's right. We can make small everyday things become very great in the eyes of God if we offer them with love. Wow! I didn't know. Every little prayer or sacrifice we make for others is something that changes the world and saves souls. It's very important. So can we be like superheroes? <laughs> well, yes, even better. Yeah, because superheroes don't exist, and we do. Let's ask the Immaculate Heart of Mary to help us say prayers and make small sacrifices for others. In the end, the Immaculate Heart of Mary will triumph, just as Our Lady said. Well, kids, we've reached the end of the program and we have to say goodbye. I hope you've learned the great value that little things we do for God can have. See you soon. Bye-bye.